Good evening guys, I just got done mowing that field of hay and I'm heading out to my uncle's 7810 is Rhino 15 foot bush hole. We're going up to some, uh, I got some ground that I'm in on with my brother and my uncle and dad's heading up there with our 986 and more. We didn't get it planted this year because it's wetter ground so we're just, we're going to mow the weeds down. We've mowed them once this year, I didn't get any video of it so. I'll catch up to you when we get there. We're gonna mess around with the green star and use auto steer. So, it should be fun. We're on our way up. I noticed Dad, he's in the 986. He's back there, he's catching up to me. 986 is pretty quick down the road. I think it runs a little quicker than this one does. 986 will run about 22. We're going about 19. Started in on mowing. We got we here at the this ground split up in uh, three different parts. Really. I don't know. You can see Dad over there. His lights. That's one partial, and it's only two acres. And then I'm in ten acres, which they're farming together. It's on a separate property. And we're going to get this done tonight because we're surrounded by houses. So. We'll get this done first before we, and then we'll go back behind the woods to the other place. The other place is a half a mile north of here, down the road, which is 50 acres there, or 40 acres there. I'm running, got the green star set up, running an auto steer. It's pretty nice for mowing. Do we really need to run it? No, but uh, as the dealership told my uncle, you paid for it, you might as well use it. So. And it is pretty nice for splitting the fields. You don't have to turn so sharp. It comes out perfect. Dad's probably laughing at me for using it, but, or rolling his eyes. But it's fun for all. new technology. We don't have it on any of our stuff. My uncle does. It's fun to me for a while. It'd be fun to put on the 4430 for mowing hay. You can split the fields perfectly. It's sometimes splitting fields of the disc mine off to your side and trying to want it to come out right on. Seems like all I do is triangle fields and if I get them straight and come out right, that'd be really nice. Especially for the rake. He might get out there and be falling a windrow and it's kind of in a point row and he'd be out in the middle of the field. Right. The sun's just going down. We'll wait until dark to start recording so you can see me a little better. We are kind of dad is anyways looking at for a 15 foot bush hole also because we've got a 10 we won't be getting rid of it because it's handy for smaller areas but for i hope we don't have to mow this much preventative plant, plant ground ever again but if we're doing this stuff the 10 foot is a little slow which we've mowed We had 190 acres of beans that didn't get planted and 90 acres of corn. And then I'm not sure what my uncle had. He probably, I think he got all his corn planted, all but maybe six acres. I don't know. But anyways, we've mowed a couple hundred acres a couple times so far this year. Uh, we're mowing it instead of spraying it just because we're not going to spend the money on the chemicals to spray it. Yeah, we'll burn it down this fall more than likely, if there's time. But, and it, I guess it does look a little better mode. The fields aren't just bare. There 
is still some root structure to hold topsoil in place in the event of a big rain or something. There's there's quite a few guys around here that have mowed it. Then there's some there are some that have sprayed it. We got one guy, he hasn't done anything with it. He's got weeds and grass growing in his fields that are eight feet tall, which right next to the home farm and that's all going to go to seed so we might have some gain some weed pressure off of that but he did i guess he did make an attempt to start mowing it tonight but he's got a long ways to go there not that it matters but the weeds have gotten so tall where he drove with the tractor, leaned them all over, and it didn't cut very well, so it don't even look good when he's done with it. But that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. We're in the 78th of my uncle's. It's front wheel assist. I, like, I really like this tractor real nice it's only got I don't think it's got 5,000 hours on it yet and look but when the lights are on on this the dash doesn't work for some reason and I think it's a common problem with these tractors because that dairy I help with one they've got two of these 78 tens and a 76 tens and none of their dashes are lit up when you turn the lights on either so later I think there's kind of a common issue with them I don't know what it is. I've not looked into it much. But I don't believe it's, it really doesn't have that many hours on it. It's a it's a handy all around tractor. We pulled, he pulled that 1790 bean planter with it for five or six years. And his 750 grain clerk for going, going, going on 10 years now anyways. But he's, he's got the 8320 now. So this is getting some lighter jobs. Uh, a rut there. Which, this tractor, it's good for, it's kind of like a 4020, which I've heard the 7810s referred to as the newer 4020 because they're not too big, not too small, but they can be used for about anything. Um, the dairy I help, theirs are two wheel drives. And the advantage to the two-wheel drive is uh, they turn a lot better. This is set on 30-inch rows, so it doesn't have the best turning radius, whereas a longer frame, 8,000 would. But it does all right. It's a heck of a lot better than the Massey Ferguson's that that dairy has. And the big thing I've noticed tonight is I haven't run this one quite a while and I've put some time in the, that dairy 7810 and it's got the e-range transmission and one of them does and the other's got the power shift that's a nice feature this one a little slow on the road compared to what I've been used to lately but it goes about 19 down the road which isn't that big of a deal because that's about what 4430 and 4020 goes so I'm used to it. And there's daddy's up there turning around. It's like the 986 has got a light out. We're not going to try to do all this tonight because it's already 9 o'clock. We're just going to get started on it because my brother he's got 60 acres of CRP around. He's got to go custom mow with our bush hog. It's it's uh, on the other side of the county, I guess, from here. We're just on the outskirts of Bell Mountain, kind of in a, I don't know if they even call it a little subdivision or not. But we want to get this done before he goes over there because that'll be real heavy, thick stuff, so it'll be slow and take him a while to get that done. Decided we get this trimmed up nice before the bush hog goes over there. I don't know if we'll finish it in the morning or I've got a 
stopping by the sorghum sedan grass. And then I've got a meeting tomorrow night, so I might see if I can come out in the morning and get one of my friends to come run the 986. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. I suppose I've talked enough for right now. So I might get back with you. Dad with the 986. He should be about done here before too terribly long. up here dad's heading up we're gonna head to the next place a big farm but we're not we ain't gonna finish it tonight Thanks for watching guys.